I'm gonna show you how to smooth out the bottom of your mug so it doesn't look like this. So we're gonna actually add some clay into here to make it like nice and smooth so that it um, can be food safe and not have these cracks in it. So right now, the bottom of my mug has kind of a little bit of a hole and some big cracks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is on the back side of your sheet, I'm gonna roll three little carrots. I'm gonna put them one by one inside where the indents are. So in these kind of indents. And I'm gonna smooth them in with a modeling tool. So I'm gonna set a carrot in there and kind of smooth it in, okay? So I'll show you how to do this. So to make a little carrot, just take a little bit of clay, roll it up, kind of into a sphere. And then I'll just pick like sort of one end. And this one is pretty big, so it might actually be a little bit too big. So I want part of it to be a little bit skinnier and part of it to be a little bit thicker. And I did that just by sort of pressing more on one end than the other as I rolled. And the idea is that these little carrots will kind of fit inside here. This one's still a little bit big. Okay. So I'm gonna fit it inside here. Um, if I can, like if it's short enough, I can kind of score it up, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to with this one. So I'm just gonna kind of drop it in there. Did not go where I wanted it to go. So I'm gonna use like my plastic modeling tool to kind of try to get it in place. And that's essentially what I want, is it to like sort of take up the space of um, that crack that was there. Just be careful with your rim as you do this. I'm already starting to kind of hit mine up. You can always fix it later, um, but try not to hit it too much. Then I'm gonna take, this modeling tool is really good, the one with kind of the little flat edge. And I'm essentially taking the clay from the carrot, think of it, and just sort of like spreading half of it over onto one side, and then taking the other half of the carrot and spreading it onto this side. So I'm just gonna press down and pull. So I'm taking like part of that carrot and kind of pulling it. So that it's sort of um, smoothing out where that big divot or crack was. I'm gonna do it on the other side too. And I still have like a little spot over here that you can see that has like a crack in it. What I'm going to do is just kind of take my other end of my tool and try to kind of smooth that out. As much as possible, you want this to be like pretty smooth. It's always going to have some little lines in there. Um, it's impossible to get it like smooth, smooth, but at least that there's not like a giant crack that bacteria could like grow in if you were going to drink out of this mug. So I'm going to do this with each of them. I'm just going to make another carrot, put it in the other one, um, so that eventually this will all look kind of smoothed out on the bottom. If you need to, for that spot in the middle too, you can always just put a little like tiny bit in there and smooth it out. After you do that um, and you're all done, then you're going to smooth out the rim and the top of your cup so that it's more rounded and drinkable. So right now it's like a flat slab like this with 90 degree angles. We just kind of want to smooth that out. The best way I think to do that is to just take a little bit of slip or a little bit of water and just kind of run your fingers along the edges, sort of pinching them together like this and then running them along the edge. Um, thing is optional, but if you want to, you can belly out your the inside of your mug. I really like doing this, um, but you in no way have to. So it'll either end up being kind of just straight up and down sides, or you take your hand and you'll put it inside the cup and you're just gonna kind of press gently um, along the inside. I like to hold my hand on the outside to kind of support it as well as I go. So I'll show you how to do this. So I would hold it here. I actually would do this with it flat on the table um, like this. And I'm pressing, I'll let you kind of see. I'm using usually just my middle finger. I'm kind of 
pressing from the inside to belly it out. So pressing, and you can kind of decide like how far that goes. You can already see it to kind of start to belly out a little bit. I could bring it all the way up if I wanted to. I could bring it all the way down. Um, I like to kind of have the belly in the middle. So I'll just sort of show you how to do that. Um, it doesn't have quite the belly that I want, so I would probably keep going, but you can see it start to belly out. The other thing that you can do is kind of flip out your lip a little bit if you want. And the way you do that is just by kind of pressing, I'm pressing like in here um, on the outside and out with my thumb on the inside. So I'm making kind of a wider rim. And this definitely gives it a certain look. You also need to think about what sgraffito design you're doing and if this would work for your sgraffito design. I'd probably get a little bit of water and smooth all this in, um, but it gives it more of a shape that can be kind of fun. It definitely looks a little bit more handmade, um, gives it a little bit of flair. I don't want to do it too much, like I don't want to thin out my, rip, my rim too much, but um, I could keep bellying this a little bit more and working on the rim until it's all done.